Hey, what's up everybody? It is Chris. Today, after a long wait, made longer by the United States Postal Service, I finally have my unboxing. Uh, this unboxing, again, I'm trying to take advantage of the lower prices, uh, lower spot price, uh, to really look for pieces that I think uh, are worth holding on to over a longer period. The, spot, the price action in, in silver spot has been crazy. Uh, you know, it, it went down to what the 17s and then uh, almost 16s and then bounced all the way back up to almost 20 and it's been it's been taking some big moves back and forth so pretty interesting to see but I figured uh, while it was in the 17s I should make a purchase and so I did let's see what I got so again if you've watched this channel for quite a while, you know that I am a big fan of the higher premium stuff. Um, is it a wise move? It's definitely not a wise move because typically the high premium stuff just, you know, you end up holding on to it because you paid so much for it. But these particular pieces, I think that there will always be a market for, especially in the short term. So if I change my mind, I have no doubt that I can... Uh, get rid of or at least one of these unload at least one of these for more than what i paid which is always good now as we know our favorite matriarch uh the queen uh unfortunately passed away fortunately or unfortunately depending on uh, your personal views and so uh that's made a quite a a wave in the stocking community because now the scramble is on to see, huh, how does that affect what we're buying? You know, uh, as I mentioned before in my last video, or at least one of my last videos, the queen was the most reproduced face on coinage in history and also in, uh, in um, monetary, uh, like bills, currency, paper currency. Pretty crazy, uh, and again, I mean, it's basically been the last 70 years, but that's a hell of a long time to be, you know, the reigning uh, authority, you know, over a nation, especially one where the sun never sets. Pretty crazy, but without further ado, let me show you some of the cool stuff that I was able to uh, purchase during this last drop in spot. First, let me show you this guy. Now this guy, again, higher premium, um, but something I thought was really cool. And the, the idea for this actually came from uh, Bikawaram Stacker. He's always, the guy is just buying nothing but high premium stuff. So every time he makes a, a community post or makes a video, he's always unboxing like high premium uh, coinage, bullion, uh, which is pretty crazy. I mean, most people, you know, eagles and maples and nope not him he's uh he's always purchasing the good stuff so without further ado this guy the perth kookaburra proof it's pretty nice and it's got the privy it's a pretty interesting coin let's see if i can get in a little closer on that guy it's a pretty nice looking piece you don't see, you know, the thing with the kookaburra is because they constantly change the design. Look at that. That's got to be one of the last, uh, one of the last um, designs of the queen. But even on that, look at how much like her necklace, the crown, look at how, the detail on that. It's pretty nuts. But the kookaburra itself, really nice looking coin really nice looking coin i mean actually i want to take it out and look at it closer but uh i'm pretty sure it's meant to be kept in this card uh and it's the and a special with that privy mark Let's see if i can zoom on the privy that's pretty crazy look at that detail nuts as you can imagine it wasn't cheap but i think it's worthwhile the cuckoo bro i knew was going to be something that i was going to like so I'm pretty happy about this one. And again, it comes with like this nice card, nice packaging. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm happy so far. Now, secondly, this is the actually the more expensive part of the uh, unboxing. 
and we'll have to be careful with this one but again big fan of the higher premium stuff with bullion I'm, i have enough coinage now like uh you know eagles maples philharmonics britannia's that for the most part i just look when i look at them i'm not really looking to you know add weight per se because i feel like i have enough weight um, I'm looking more for either things that catch my eye, like privies, proofs, reverse proofs, that kind of thing, versus just, hey, get a tube of mint seal, uh, you know, coinage. Nah, I'm good with that, at least for now. I mean, until price comes way, way back down, if we're looking at $14, $15, well then, you know, I'll be right back on that train buying bullion. But for now, it's the nicer stuff. So this one let's take a look at what we have here and if you're wondering this one's actually pretty well packaged let's take a look what do we have here the royal mint now the impetus for this purchase was uh actually i was looking at this right before the queen passed i don't know if you caught my community post where it had like a it had a god creating you know the seven days creating the the land the sea the animals and then the the person in the the picture asked him who's that over there and it was the queen and he said she's been here i don't know who she is she's been here the whole time <laughs> and then of course the queen passes away a week later pretty nuts anyway let's see what we have well there is a hint the royal tudor beasts Yale of Beaufort 2023 so two ounce silver proof coin so here's the deal with this in my estimation my rough estimation this is one of the last coins uh, of, of, of a proof that has been minted with the coin the Queen's image on it even the packaging is pretty nice pretty cool stuff and so this one, I actually have two. This one could be a flip, depending on how the market plays out. But before we take a look at the coin, because we'll get to the coin, comes with this COA. Now this particular one, there are 1500 minted, which I'm not sure if that counts as quote unquote low mintage, but it comes with basically the story of the house tells you about like uh, the Tudor beasts you know why they chose you know these designs how they're pertinent to the households to the crown pretty interesting so that's cool and then of course we have the grand prize the Yale coin sorry this one's a little bright over here but again comes in the presentation box this one is number 748 Let's see if it pops right out okay so I'm not gonna handle it and unfortunately the Sun is a little bright today but that is the coin See if I can zoom in if that does anything for it. Beautiful coin. Beautiful coin. Now the thing is, with the presentation box, the actual coin wasn't sealed. But let's see if it comes out nicely. Obviously we have Her Majesty on the other side. Let's get that back in there. Yeah, that's one of those moments where you're waiting to hear it clink off of something. Nope, it's going right back in. Now this guy, again, the reason for the purchase was I feel like whether I hold it or whether I flip it, and again, I do have two, these ones are going to be sought after. Anything that's in the later, not anything that's in the, the last days of the queen, but then also something that's a proof, which again gives it an additional desirability but then on top of that a limited edition proof in two ounce of a popular series that's definitely important 
So I think this one's definitely a keeper, but also value-wise, something that uh, I am comfortable holding on to for, uh, for a few years to see how the market plays out. But I definitely don't think I'll have a problem getting my money back uh, on this bad boy, especially since both of the, the uh, mintage numbers that I got are towards the lower side. I mean, that one's basically in the middle, but the other one is a little bit lower. So pretty happy overall. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed those additions to my stack. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that uh, 1500 is low mintage. And also whether this is one of the last uh, coins of the Queen's likeness uh, minted in reverse pr or in proof.